Welcome to a brand new episode of Chase Talks. My name is Chase. Today I'm going to be bringing you Pokemon Quest and we're going to be continuing our playthrough of the game. Now, in the last episode, we did part of the rock type challenge. We did part of the ground type challenge. And in this episode, we are going to be first grabbing a sand flash. Then we're going to grab our PM tickets. What's the sand flash? Got it. Metal Claw, okay. And Rollout, okay. Interesting. Level 38 Sand Slash. Man, that Sand Slash is a high level. Alright, now let's see what this pot has in store for me. Stone Soup a la Cube. See if I got my Onyx. This did, we got our Onyx. We did it. Oh my gosh. That was so lucky. We got our Onyx on the first try. Level 20 pretty good and it knows iron tail that's nice with one two three four things unlocked for already it already has a bingo immediately that's awesome that is really awesome i'm going to be excited to use that onyx and it's going to be useful in both the rock and ground type challenge which is also good let me grab this quest really quick it's under challenges if i can click on it geez oh we got pokemon trainer level up 100 times okay and bronze cooking for our first time cooking bronze. And let me grab our PM tickets. I also need to decide what it is we are going to be cooking next. And I don't really know. What are we missing? Hmm. What are we missing? Oh, you can see down at the bottom of the screen, our Charmander did actually evolve in between episodes. Because um, I was using the Charmander a little bit. He did evolve into a Charmeleon. Uh, which is pretty cool. I just got him to level 16, so he did evolve. Um, I'm probably not going to be using him this episode. I was actually going to switch out him before this episode started, but I forgot. Oops. Oops! I've had a long day. This episode's going up super late, and it might almost be two episodes on Monday by the time I get this up. This episode might not even be going up till midnight. Um, and I apologize. That it's totally my fault that this episode is going up so late. Um, I had a busy day. A very busy day. I, um, My nephew had his baptism today, which is awesome. Um, uh, so he had that today, and i was been busy the entire day. I was going to record this episode on Saturday, and I had some other things I had to do on Saturday, so I didn't get to around to recording it. Um, so, we're recording this late in the day, and then we are going to be posting it tonight after it's done. Um, so, I'm going to use, is there a ghost one? Uh... There, I think I just gotta use the poison one for the, cause I was gonna try and get a ghastly. There are a lot of Pokemon under poison. All right, if I use a very good dish, and this is a lot of Pokemon we don't have, we can get Ekans, Zubat, Grimer, Coughing, Bulbasaur, Venonat, and Ghastly. Now we don't have Ekans, we don't have Grimer, we don't have Coughing, we don't have Venonat, and we don't have Ghastly. The only two Pokemon we have out of this are Zubat and Bulbasaur. And it's all about an even chance to get all of them with Golbat, with Ghastly being the least likely at a 4%. I really want a Ghastly, but Ghastly is all around hard to get it seems. Um, yeah, because I can only get it under Grey Mulligan Sludge. Uh, let me see what its odds are under gray. Ooh, its odds are like worse under gray, huh? Yeah, its odds are worse under the gray. Yeah, so it's going to be best to use this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a very good dish, I think. Um, which the very good is three ball mushrooms and two tiny mushrooms. Uh, I have a lot of these, so I'm going to use a bronze dish. So I have a lot of bomb mushrooms, and I have a lot of tiny mushrooms. And it's three bomb mushrooms, and two tiny mushrooms. So I'll go ahead and cook 
put the bronze in the last tiny mushroom. One, two, three bone mushrooms and two tiny mushrooms. Start cooking. Yes, consume the ingredients. Bam, we have five and we have five energy. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's edit our team really quick. What I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switch out the... Oh, wow, this one's even higher than our sand slab. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to try and get... What's Rollout's power? Because these are both Rock Titan moves, right? 130 with a 5 weight, and this is 117 with a 5 weight. Um, I kind of think I'm going to try and get a better move than Rollout. And I have two sand slashes. Let me see if really quick. Let me try and get a better move than roll out. Let's put in our sand shrew. Um, our sand slash, I mean. Move learning. Uh, we're going to go back a page. And we have this level 9 sand shrew. And let's switch out roll out. And let's try and get a better move than roll out. Uh, yes. I'd like to change the Pokemon's move. I don't need two rock moves either. Um, hopefully we get a ground type move. Oh, we did get a... We got Earthquake! Now, alright. Alright, so now we have Sandstorm and we have Earthquake. The user causes an Earthquake that damages surrounding energies. 390 power. That is really good. Alright, I'm going to take that weight stone. Oh! Uh oh! I did not mean to do that. But, oh, what's this? Moves number of shots. Go plus one and the moves attack percentage. Um. I don't know what that means. I'm going to put this weight on the earthquake. And now I gotta put Sandshrew's stuff back because I accidentally got rid of it. Alright, let's put this 312. Oh, this is 289 HP. This is 281. 257. And hopefully. What else did we have? I think I had. Did I have this one? Movement speed. Hmm. I know he was fast. Oh, but he gets movement speed from those. I think I just had this 273. I don't remember. I can always look later. But. Alright. That's good. We got Earthquake. I'm excited about that. We got Earthquake. We got hopefully a Ghastly brewing up in there. Um, is good. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out. Charmander for an Onyx. Um, and let me give some stuff to Onyx to make Onyx a little bit more powerful. Uh, and let's give him the 289 that's on Scyther. So this 284. Um, 233 that's on Scyther. Uh, this 270. And he's got a bingo right there. Time to recover. I might actually put that in. It's a pretty good difference. Hmm, maybe later. Let's do that. Now Onyx is super bulky. Let's check really quick and let's see what his thing gives him. So it's move speed percent, move speed percentage, and the attack of rock moves. But he doesn't have rock type moves. Or steel type moves. So none of his bingo bonuses are going to be that useful. Man, Iron Tail is a weak move. It's only got 67 attack. I wonder if I can use the other Sand True, but the other Sand True's got so much, it's such a high level. I kind of want to boost. Let me see if I can do that. I wonder what will happen if I train my Sand True with a level up. If I put this Sand True there, and I put this one down there. It'll make him level 32, so he'll go up two levels. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Uh, 
um, yeah. So he went up two levels and he got some more progress. I think that was totally worth it. Okay. So he did all of our technical stuff. Ten minutes later, we finished all of our technical stuff. Ooh, we got a quest finished. Very technical episode. Oh, we got level up training. We've never done that before. Nice. <coughs> and the move training master. Five times we use the move trainer. Very nice. Oops. All right. Let's go out of here. I have zero ice type buddies. Well, I guess I don't have um, dugong or uh, I don't have uh, dugong or um, cloister yet. I should have cloister soon though. Is this the rock type one? Instead of the rock type one, I think I'm gonna try the ground type one. I get plus two thousand on that. Yeah, let's do this one. Cause I should have more than enough power with the plus two thousand. Excuse me. Go grab a drink. Uh oh, we're autoing it. I don't mean to be autoing it. That's kind of cool, it's an, like an AOE move. That is really cool. Got some Nidorans and Nidorinos that we took out. Earthquake kind of has a long charge. does a lot of damage. So it looks like it's definitely worth this long charge. Damn, there's so much damage. Does this one not have a boss? I don't think I've ever fought one that doesn't have a boss before. Alright, let's wait. Boom! Oh, it didn't matter. Oh, it's an art book. Definitely has a boss. Boom! Oof, that did good damage. Boom! Good damage. Man, it chunks him each time. Boom! Man, like three hit it. Jeez, that earthquake does so much damage. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage! Nice, they both leveled up. That's really good. Ooh, I got a 309 health stone. That is very, very good. Time to recover increase. Let's see who that's going to go on. That is a good health stone. And I got my expedition bonus. I might just do that exact same one over again because I don't want to, like, lose. And see what I get. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that one. Um, click on Onyx, but I don't think it's going to go on Onyx, um, because I think it's going to go on Gelder. Um, yep, it's going to go on Shoulder, and it's going to replace this 201 gold HP, for sure. 309, that's a hundred difference, even though it goes from bronze to gold, that's a hundred difference still, so it's definitely worth it. Yep, that is my change. And what I am going to do really quick, and this will be the last thing I think we do in this episode, is we'll grab our expedition bonus. We'll go ahead and we're going to do that. Ooh, I can do the next one, can't I? Can we do the next one? You know what, let's chance it. Let's do the next one. I was going to say we're going to play it safe. We're going to go through the same one we just beat. But no, what? No, I'm, going, I'm feeling risky. Let's play the next one. Let's play the next one. Oh, rock types? Easy peasy. Bam! Easy peasy rock types. 
Ground types, easy peasy. That did slightly less damage, but it's still a lot of damage. And they're spreading me out across the screen. There we go, Sand Slash is in the battle now. That's the one downside. If they push you, if they have a move that can push you back, they can knock you back and you still charge and you don't move when you're doing the charging. You don't actually gain anything from it. But we're already on wave three. Big trios. That was waste. Man, Onyx is doing really well. I wonder if when they use like the dig move to go underground, I wonder if Earthquake still does double damage in this game like it does. And um No Pokemon. That'd be an interesting thing to find out. It's weird that all these evolved Pokemon are like fighting me one by one 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 at a time. Kangaskhan? Whoa! Alright, I can definitely say with 100% certainty that I did not expect to fight a Kangaskhan. This is going to be intense. That did decent damage. Not as much damage as I would like it to do. Still decent damage. We're still chunking him, which is good. Knocked out Sand Slash. That's not good. We've almost got him. Too far away. I thought I might have been in range. Good damage. We got this. We got this. We got it. We got this ground type challenge in the bag. Ground type challenge is actually really easy. I'm actually pretty impressed how good we're doing on it. I guess we have two good ground types. We got our Onyx and we got our Sand Slash, and they're both doing great. Three bingo bonuses, which are definitely helping. We have two more bingo bonuses on the way. 357 HP. Hold up while well, I have a heart attack. That is by far, super far. Super duper uber far. The best. Don't I have. And. Gonna go on the. Probably go on the defensive power. That is. Shelter. <laughs> HP. Crit. Will hit rate. Resistance to negative effects. Oh I almost feel like this should go on sand slide. Because it gives crit hit and it gives resistance to, and it gives resistances. Gives resistance to negative status effects. Yeah, it's going on sand slash. <coughs> Excuse me, it's going on sand slash. I'm sorry, Shelter. You I mean I know sand slash has three gold ones. But Sand Slash is the Sand Slash was our MVP. Sand Slash won. The psychic beat the psychic type for us and sand slash has been mowing through mowing through the hushed heights like they weren't even there but that's gonna be it for this episode let me check really quick and make sure there's no pokemon floating around um i am probably gonna use uh the three energy that's hanging out just to grind a little bit just to get our onyx a couple more levels uh, maybe sand slash a couple more levels and shelter a couple more levels to get us close to that cloister um but that's gonna be it for this episode thanks for watching remember rate the video comment the video and subscribe so you never miss another episode of chase talks
Until next time, this is Chase. Signing off.